traditionally, Harleys are really good-looking motorcycles that leave a lasting impression on you when you see them rolling down the street. And that signature rolling thunder exhaust mode instantly reminds you of cruising down the wide-open American freeways. Now, unfortunately, we don't have too many of those freeways, like they do in the US. But Harley has been listening because, for 2017, it brings us the 1,200 cubic centimeters Roadster. It gets the same frame and engine as the rest of Harley's Sportster series, but its design and execution remind you of the brand's performance-oriented past. It also gets a few special parts that are not only a first for the bike maker, but also help make it a better motorcycle for India. The Roadster is the most sport-oriented version in the Sportster series since the discontinued XR1200. It is an alternative to the more conventional cruiser variants such as the 48 and the 1200 Custom. And while its looks do remind you of the Iron 883, closer inspection will tell you otherwise. In keeping with the Sportster theme, the Roadster gets a shortened front fender and a chopped rear one. The 12.5 liter peanut tank sits atop a blacked out engine keeping with Harley's dark custom theme. While the fuel capacity still isn't something to be marveled at, it certainly is an improvement over the minuscule 7.9 liter one on the 48 with which it shares its headlight. It, however, does get a partially digital speedometer that has readings for speed, odometer, trip meters, and a clock, with the tachometer being an analog unit. The only issue here is that the digital readout becomes rather hard to read under direct sunlight. The Roadster sits on really good-looking split five-spoke cast wheels. This new stepped single seat is reasonably comfortable and also adds to the classic and aggressive look of the Roadster. Its low-set handlebar resembles the Clubman handlebars and will have you leaning forward a bit. This position keeps things low and will help with quicker changes in direction. One small issue could be the position of the foot pegs. While they are still a bit forward set in terms of seating geometry, they're definitely going to get in the way when you have to put your feet down. The 1202 cubic centimeters evolution motor that the Roadster comes equipped with turns 30 this year and is as likable and torquey as it used to be. However, since this bike does have the extra handling capabilities, a slight bump in power would have complemented its racier looks. The relaxed nature of the engine is quite in contrast to the sporty theme of the motorcycle. Although this is a torque-rich engine, it still takes a fair bit of shifting to keep it responsive and avoid piston knocking. For quick throttle response in the turns, working through the gearbox becomes quite a necessity. The clutch still feels heavy to operate, and that's definitely going to be a hassle in heavy traffic situations. And, as we've seen before, there's still a lot of vibration at idle, which smooths out once you get the higher revs. What really sets this bike apart from its Harley stable mates is this, the Roadster gets 43mm inverted forks and twin 300mm discs at the front, so you just know this is going to take things up a notch. It even comes with ABS, which is only for the rear tire. It also has the most suspension travel of any of the Harleys, 4.5 inches up front and 3.2 inches at the rear, which isn't much compared to other motorcycles, but is still an improvement over the older models. The cavernous shape of the rider's saddle comes quite handy when pulling hard off the line. It really holds the rider in place and prevents them from sliding backwards. The padding on the seat definitely adds comfort on longer hauls. The pillion seat, however, won't be very comfortable for anything other than short spins around the city. It slopes towards the rear and constantly gives you a sensation of sliding off. The 43mm inverted forks really iron out the dumps thanks to improved cartridge dampening, which, in turn, makes the bike a lot more stable around turns and gives you the confidence to lean deep into the corner. And the Harley-Davidson specific Dunlop tires do a spectacular job with grip levels. Even the upgrade and adjustable rear shocks, while still on the stiffer side, do manage to soak up uneven surfaces reasonably well. Combine all these factors and the newly adjusted steering geometry, and the Roadster is more nimble and responsive than any of the other Sportsters. Another big bonus is that the bike gets 1,500 millimeters of ground clearance, which means unlike Harley's other Sportster models, the Roadster can conquer most of the badly designed bumps that litter our roads, except the ones of biblical proportions.